Hi, Leo, and welcome to my class on live with your girl, PJ. I'm here to do your September 2021 reading. I hope that you all are doing well. Sorry, I had to take a break. Um, my initial break was just because I needed one. And then over the last three weeks, my family and I have been extremely sick. My mama uh, got sick first. Corona. Uh, and she ended up in, being in the hospital for 17 days. She had corona pneumonia and I got sick over a couple of days after her. And then I was down for a while for like a week and a half. I still can't smell. Um, my body still aches a little bit. I'm still a, a little congested at night. And uh, my daughter was sick for four days, kept testing negative. And then she finally tested positive. And then when she tested positive, I took my other one back and she tested positive. So we've kind of just kind of really been down around here. Um, everybody appears to be getting better and that's good at least it passed through the house that, that one person in the next person got it you know like at different times but with the grace of god and god being on our side how could we lose but anyway leo you have been showing up they got the moon and the sun right here let's go ahead and get into your September reading if your reading warrants uh extended it will be attached to the description box below if you're interested in scheduling an appointment with me that is also going to be attached to the description box below i'm currently working working on a website for that also um so let's go ahead and get into it i'm going to shuffle the decks before i start i've already shuffled them prior to but just to get one or two good shuffles in since we are um, recording now. I have um, noticed that I may have to stop and take a deep breath every now and again. Um, and I do, for some reason, I'm stuttering a little bit more than normal, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to get through this thing, okay? This is going to be for Leo September 2021. Here we go. Let's shuffle this. Leo September 2021. Leo. September 2020. Let's get into it, Leo. Leo, September 2021. Leo, September 2021. All right, this is the last one. We're going to pull the theme and the challenge. Leo, September 2021. Your challenge is going to be new beginning. So that means you're going to have some work before you get this new beginning. But there's a new beginning here. The theme of your reading is going to be destiny and money. All right. So this is meant to happen. It could be a relationship that you're going in. It could be a new career that you're about to start. It could be a relationship or whatever it is, the new beginning. It's either going to be a challenge to get to this new beginning or this new beginning is simply going to be challenging for you. So let's get into it and let's find out. In the head of the matter, Leo, we have the Six of Cups. You could be simply daydreaming. You could be in your feelings about something and all in your head uh, when you really should be in your heart. Or this could be you thinking about something or someone from the past that is being clarified by the Five of Wands. So it's a lot of drama going on. It could be you fighting with your emotions in your head. It could be more than one person involved. This could be you thinking about, you know, all the work that's going to require for you to have whatever it is that you're dreaming about here. The outcome is a devil card. I think right now what you're doing is you're in your head, you're fighting with yourself, you're fighting with your heart, you're fighting with your emotions, you're even fighting with your past. And that's becoming very toxic for you. As long as you stay in your past, it's going to be hard to get to your future. New beginning. All right. Get out of it. Well, it's kind of making me feel some kind of way because I am a Leo, as you all know. In the heart of the matter, we see will of fortune. You're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to have success. You're wanting to be happy. This is everything good. All the fixed signs are on here. You can be dealing with either one of those. It could simply just be representing you moving forward. Or the heart could be experiencing some sort of karma, good or bad. The Wheel of Fortune is a good card, the positive card. And the number that's on that is 10. The heart wants to something to end. It wants to level up. It wants to be better. That is being clarified by the two of pentacles. So even with this leveling up, it's juggling. Past, present, past, present. Oh, no, oh, no. The heart is weighing some heavy decisions right now. And it has something to do with you leveling up. Your outcome card is the king of pentacles. This could definitely be a person. Could be a Capricorn, 
Taurus or Virgo, but you're weighing your options when it comes to your stability. Or again, you could be weighing your options about a Capricorn or simply a person here. I'm looking at it here to me, just from the outcome from what I'm looking at here, there's a new beginning, either in a relationship, someone could possibly be offering something stable because the king of pentacles is a man of stability. It could be a male or female, a woman of stability, and you're weighing some, 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 some heavy decisions. The heart is actually appears to be receiving something that it wants. And I don't think you're sure about what to do about it. Okay. I'm going to turn this light on. Your challenge is you're in the past. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. When there is something being offered to you, you're not paying attention to. It could be new love. It could just be a new emotional adventure. But you're not paying attention to it because like I told you when we first started, it looks like you're in your head and you're in your past. And that's becoming very toxic for you. That is being clarified by the high priestess holding back because she holds back. There could be secrets. You're not trusting your intuition about something. And the outcome for that is the king of swords. You're not trusting your intuition. You're not speaking freely. You're not being honest with yourself or with another person here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But you're not facing the truth. Whatever it is, whether it's an emotional thing, you're trying to fight your emotions, you're trying to tell the heart, this is not what we want, or whatever it is, you have to make a solid decision. And that is going to be your challenge. You're holding back from something you know that your intuition is telling you that may be good for you. At the root of the matter, the king of swords here, having to make a solid decision. See here, he hasn't quite made a decision. He's talking about it. He, he has an idea, but... It's not, the decision hasn't been made yet because it's in the challenging. So here, now he's picked up that sword and it appears to be making a decision about something. Ain't no more talking about it. I got, I, I'm about to make a decision that is being clarified by the eight of swords, but it's just all in your head. Apparently it, it's a hard decision for you. Um, you're in your head and it's, it's so crazy because the head is emotional. It's fighting with something from the past. The root is struggling, making a hard decision. So if stay, you're staying in your head about it, that's going to be clarified by confusion. You just got a decision. So you two like Aries and Aries, and I've read for Virgo, um, it's decision time. And you may be fearful that you may make the wrong decision, even if you think it's the right decision. But you have to make a decision, good or bad. Either way, it appears that it'll play out in your favor. Your past, what happened here? You came up with an idea. You started working on something. You looked it over or could have been someone bringing you an offer here or and something stopped. Because he's already slow. But as you can see, this night is not moving at all, the Knight of Pentacles. Something you may have been working on, either you stopped working on it or there's a, an offer or a message or something that was coming towards you and it came to a halt. That's being clarified by a partnership. Whether this isn't a partnership in a new relationship, whether this is a partnership in a new job, but something started to come to you could have been a message or you delivering a message or a message being delivered to you about somebody wanting a partnership. It could be something you started as far as a work, something tangible, getting a house, a job, a car uh, with someone and it came to a halt. Yeah, so it could have been something, like I said, that came to you. You, the challenge was you weren't paying attention to it. And then when it did come to you, you may have, taking it for granted, looked on like, um, uh, I'm not sure if I really want it. Or someone poured out their heart to you. You took the cup and you was like, I don't want to deal with this. Or you miss an opportunity and you overlook it because you're in your past. Get out the past. You can't do nothing about that. That is, that's just our past. We can't do nothing about it. There's a partnership that could have come to an end here for you too. In the immediate future, the card that three of wands, you've manifested it. Now you're waiting. It, the good thing about it, this is the only three that I see. So I see you not with, with the ships, okay? So you manifested something. You put it out there. Your ships are coming in, being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Whether this is this pentacle that this King of uh, Pentacles is giving you, could be a new job, new, new job, new career. We want a career. A new career, a new house, 
a new business, but you put something out there in the universe and you're waiting for your ships to come in and that's being clarified by, looks like it could be. Either you're leaving a situation that you are invested in and you're starting something new or you've planted some seeds and now the harvest is here. I like it, which allows you to move forward to a new beginning. But your challenge, again, is the new beginning. And the reason why you're struggling getting there is because y'all in your head. Get out your head, Portia. Get out your head. Get out your head, okay? Now, what's the energy that supports you that you're unaware of? They're going to devil. Again, it's supporting you now, which is weird. I don't know why it's supporting you. But there's an energy that here that supports you you're unaware of. Could be simply because you're in your head being clarified by the four of wands. I think I got an idea of this maybe. And an eight of cups. All of that, um, you may be leaving a toxic situation and you're unaware of it. You may even be unaware that whether it's a home that you're currently in, a relationship that you're currently in, a job that you're currently in, it no longer emotionally fulfills you. And it looks like the universe may be universe, God, spirit, higher, whatever y'all want to call it. Something is about to emotionally pull you in a different direction. You may be even leaving a connection, leaving a job, leaving a um, situation, whatever it is, you're leaving it because it no longer serves you and is very unhealthy for you at this time. Your potential outcome. Hey, hey now either you about to level up, become the empress, or this is marriage for you or this is someone, or I'll say a job too. Something that brings you love and abundance. And this is your potential outcome, okay? Being clarified by the Queen of Cups because you're nurturing yourself, or this could be a Cancer Scorpio Piscean energy who's nurturing you. And the outcome is being clarified by happiness. So let me tell you something, sweetheart, Leo, my love, me, speak it to myself, and I ain't playing on nor have I manipulated these cards. Your potential outcome is love and abundance. It's happiness. Something is going to be revealed to you about you nurturing it, you nurturing yourself, whether this is a mom situation, um, a marriage, but it looks like you begin to nurture yourself and it allows you to level up. All right. Now, because I'm a little nosy and because I am a Leo, I am going to take this over to the extended. All right. Please join me there. If not, if this is enough for you, please wait for your mid-September reading. I'm your girl, PJ, and thank you for joining me.